Carbohydrates are another important compositional standards of food and they consist of uh, monosaccharides, disaccharides and polysaccharides. If you talk about monosaccharides, these are basically a single uh, unit of um, sugars and they are normally um, termed, uh, they, they, are, uh, they have a suffix O's with them like uh, sucrose, maltose, etc. So whenever we have this suffix O's, that would mean we are talking about a monosaccharide. Uh, then we have another uh, complex structure which is called as oligosaccharide in which we would normally have 2 to 10 uh, monosaccharide units joined together. Uh, and there are important examples in this case like sucrose which is the table sugar that you normally consume. Then we have another example fructose. These are the sugars which are present in honey as well as in the um, other fruit juices and fruits. Um, lactose is another important sugar present in milk and then we have maltose which is present in uh, barley and the related products. So these are all the disaccharides, uh, oligosaccharide compounds uh, and disaccharides are also, if they are two units they are called disaccharides and they are also part of the oligosaccharides. They could be even more complex structures. Um, then we have polysaccharides when we have more number, more than 10 units of uh, monosaccharides joined together. Uh, and the polysaccharide always have a suffix N. Like for example, we can say glycans. Uh, so most, most of the um, polysaccharides are termed as glycans. Uh, they might have uh, two uh, different classes like uh, homoglycans and heteroglycans. Homoglycans are basically... Uh, repeated unit of the same or the similar uh, monomers all together. So that would be called as homoglycan. That means all the units are same. While in case of heteroglycans, we could have different structural monosaccharides joined together to make one bigger molecule that is called heteroglycans. Uh, starch is one of the example of polysaccharides and this is one of the most abundant, abundant compound in nature. Um, and it is found in the form of semi-crystalline structure. Uh, its size ranges from 2 to 100 micro micrometer. And it consists of two units like uh, amylose and amylopectin. Amylose are basically straight units of the monosaccharides, whereas amylopectin have branch structures. So we don't have the straight units, rather than we have branch structure of monomers attached to the branches so that would be called as amylopectin, that is part of the starch. Another important compound is called glycogen. Like for example, we have starch. Uh, starch is basically the component of uh, plants, whereas glycogen is the component of uh, storage molecule in case of animals and humans. We do store glycogen in our livers. And in the case of starvation, when we don't get any food, this glycogen molecule actually breaks down gradually. Uh, and that breakdown of glycogen molecules actually releases glucose and that gives us energy. So it's basically a storage molecule present in, in animals and humans. Another important element is cellulose. Uh, they did, that is called as the, another abundant polysaccharide present in nature. Uh, and this is basically when we talk about human food, this is uh, the dietary fiber because it cannot be absorbed uh, by humans because we do not have the enzymes to break down the cellulose into the simpler structure. Although the cellulose is made of, of glucose molecules that cannot can be used as energy source, but because we do lack the cellulase enzymes that can break down the cellulose into a simple structures. But animals do have this enzyme, so they actually can utilize this uh, cellulose and break down this as a source of energy for them. Uh, pectin are another important food, um, important foods, uh, substances, which are basically polysaccharides, but they can be used for various applications in case of food. Uh, for example, your jams and jellies, they all have a gel, gel structure that comes from this pectin. Uh, and pectin uh, is basically uh, a polysaccharide. Uh, gums are another uh, important food ingredient that are used in food for multiple reasons for uh, different uh, 
different applications like increasing the viscosity of certain syrups or juices or uh, squashes, etc. Uh, so gums are uh, also important, industrially important compounds which we have um, in the food industry as ingredients, and they are basically example of polysaccharides.